This is just highlight the bird. The word air, that's like that in Arabic, you know, it's when you, the concept of when you say Al-Ubda, when you tie, for example, a rope, when you put the rope in this way and you just tie it, it's called in Arabic Ubda. <laughs> okay? Now, why we use the word Aqida from the origin of Ubda? Now, an Ukda is very tight and it's, you know, very solid and it cannot be released easily. It is Ukda, okay? Which means, when you do, when you have Ertifad, which means this idea has been fixed into, inside yourself like the Ukda. It's not a, something just superficial that comes, it's not something that, no, 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 it's like the out there to say it's there, it's closed, it's very tight, it's wrapped, it's there. Okay, this is the, the part of the meaning of the linguistic origin. Now, many people, they keep saying the most important things are ethics. And to look from a human point of view, my question is, who can claim on earth that we can agree from a human point of view about what ethics are. Because ethics and human understanding are very relative. What you might think is right, I might think is what? Wrong. What I might think that is true, you might think is what? Bad or wrong. And I will prove it to you that if we do not have an extra external umbrella, that judges us and all of us. We abide to it, we will have differentiations, no criteria. Example. Human example. Historical example. When the USA in 1940 something decided to bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki in what they call the Second World War. They bombed them with the atomic bomb. Imagine if you went to interview millions of Americans on top of them, the politicians. Have you done something wrong? What could be the answer to this? Definitely no. But why? We are defending the international community. But, but you killed it. But, but discussing killing, I'm discussing we are 